ladles and jelly spoons, welcome back to Badgerworks. Today, this. Uh, this is an Airfix 172nd scale World War I tank, uh, the female variety, um, in 176 scale. I've never quite understood why they do vehicles in 176 and aircraft in 172nd, but anyway. Uh, the reason I'm going to build this, uh, if you've been following along with the uh, little diorama project I've been doing, uh, this is what's going to go on it. So I don't normally build tanks, uh, I usually stick to aircraft, but um, my son was quite keen to build one of these and I found a deal where they were selling uh, basically two for one. So I thought I would have a go at building one first and then afterwards he can he can build one. Um, now let's have a look in the box and see what we've got. Now this is interesting to start with because on the plan it says 172nd scale and on the box it says 176 scale. Um, yeah, oh well. <coughs> So here's our bag of, of bits, uh, the tracks are rubber, uh, let's open the bag and have a look inside. So let's have a look, uh, the tracks are rubber, yeah there's, there's quite a lot of flashing on the, uh, on the edges of the track there which is, uh, we'll obviously have to be cut off, but the tracks themselves are, are quite nicely detailed, um, they're rubber so they should be fairly easy to fit. Might be slightly awkward to paint, but we'll worry about that later. Um, as for the frames themselves, it's quite nicely detailed actually. There's um, there's a lot of rivet detail. Uh, I'm not seeing a great amount of flashing. Uh, it looks quite nice actually. The interesting thing is uh, the the doors to the side sponsons are actually separate, so you can have them open or closed, which is nice. Now, there is one thing that I've just noticed, <laughs> and I, I have heard this before, and it's this has confirmed it. Um, on the box, it says it's a female tank, uh, and indeed it has the four machine guns for the side sponsons. Um, but, if we look at this frame, there are two extra sponsons, which actually do have some flashing on them. Um, and there are two six pounder guns which is obviously which is the male tank that's the difference the female has machine guns the male has the six pounders now that's kind of odd because Airfix also sell a male kit and they're very specific in saying that this is the female and it only has the parts to build the female um, yeah and the plans only show how to put the female side sponsors together. So there's no mention of those guns at all, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, perhaps even more interesting is the fact that uh, I bought these from Amazon and the male tank kit is more expensive to buy than the female. And yet this has the parts seemingly for both. Hmm, interesting. Oh well, not to worry, we're going to build the female tank, um, because obviously that's what I intended. But yeah, that's that's kind of odd. Anyway, um, so yeah, back to the uh, model itself. I say there is a little bit of flashing here and there, but it's actually quite nice. And it's quite well detailed as well. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of rivet detail uh, and whatnot, which is nice. Obviously, we'll be able to weather it quite nicely. Um, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, because these are the outer sides of the of the tracks, and they're very nicely detailed. <laughs> I just realised these are the rear doors for the sponsons for the male tank. There are the doors, and there are the 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 end walls. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh well, never mind. Um, yeah. Now, uh, as this is part of our diorama kit, we actually need to modify this slightly. 
um, which I will do as I'm going along. But basically what I need to do, and if I can find it, where is it? Ah, here we are. This is the top of the tank, uh, and this is the exhaust. Now, I'm going to modify this because this is going to be slightly different, so I'm going to need to change this and also change the base slightly, but we'll do that as we're going along. Um, but on the whole, it looks like quite a nice kit. There's, there is a lot of detail. It's, it's quite nicely moulded. So, let's get on with it. Is something in the plans that's quite interesting. Um, all of the pictures show the, the double sponsors, the machine guns. This one here actually shows the six pounder. <laughs> uh -huh. Caught you out, Airfix. So, this is the top of the tank. Um, this is normally where the exhaust would go. Uh, basically like that. Um, now obviously, because of the changes that we're making to the diorama is going on, we need to change this exhaust. It's gonna be slightly out of scale, but um, I don't think it will really matter and it will certainly look a lot better when it's done. So what I need to do now is drill a hole in this to take the fitting. Um, this is the, the fitting that I'm going to use, and as you can see, it's, it's significantly bigger than the exhaust. Um, but I think once it's on there, uh, it will actually look... I'm going to cut it down and, and try and minimise it as much as possible. Um, but basically what I need to do now is, uh, is drill a hole uh, for this to fit this, and then actually make uh, an extension for this so that it covers the whole exhaust. So there's the hole drilled in the top and uh, I've drilled a corresponding hole in the bottom um, for the pipe to go out. Uh, you'll see what all this is for <laughs> in due course, but um, there is method to my madness. So I've cut down the, uh, the fitting um, just to make it a bit smaller. And I'm also gonna use a piece of this six mil plastic pipe to extend it to recreate the silencer. So that's what I'll do next. To make the, the back of the silencer to cap it off, I'm gonna use a piece of this um, styrene sheet and I'm just gonna glue this on to here and then when the glue's dried, I'll cut it out and sand it smooth. sure what type of plastic this is <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, super glue to glue these together um, in the hope that that will hold I'm not sure that my normal glue will do it I don't think it will glue this plastic
So there we have it, uh, the end result of all of our work. Um, I hope this is something that has uh, proved of interest to you. It's certainly been um, very interesting and <laughs> in some cases challenging for me. Um, so, uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, bye.